Hi, my name is Rafael from Life Growth Designs. I'd like to share with you today why you should create a knowledge-based business. I'd also like to show you what it is that you would be selling. Let's get started designing your life. The knowledge business is a $355 million business per day. It is what's booming and growing in this world right now. So there's plenty of opportunity in it. People are predicting that universities are a thing of the past. So what is it that you would sell within that? Very important question. And why should you be doing that? Why wouldn't you sell a thing? Well, in order to sell a thing, you need to buy the thing and then you can sell the thing or you need to create the thing and have it designed and have a prototype made and it all costs a lot of money. With this you can get started giving a small workshop already using the email list that you have in order to create money to grow your email list and grow the amount of people that you can reach and have to come into workshops. It's very quick to get started. Now if you don't know what it is you want to do, I can give you a few ways to figure out what it is that you're going to sell. The reason that you want to sell knowledge is you don't need the startup money. The other reason you want to sell knowledge is you can create a semi-passive income with it where you can go away for months and it would still create money for you with just very little maintenance. The reason you want to sell knowledge is the fulfillment in sharing something you're passionate about. I. <laughs> go through withdrawal symptoms when I go too long without coaching, honestly. I love coaching so much that I miss it if I'm not doing it enough. So, the why. How is it that you find the subject that people want to hear about from you and something that you're passionate about? Well, first of all, if you're passionate about something, there's the obvious one. That's the thing you'll be teaching. Is there something that you can't get enough about? Something that you can't read enough about, find enough information about? Is there something that you like to talk a lot about? Is there something that your parents, that your spouse, that your friends, that your family cannot hear you talk about anymore? And you have to kind of zip and hold it in. Is there something that you like to geek out on? I don't care if it's Star Wars. I don't care if it's cake baking. If there's something that you're passionate about, that is the thing you'll do because that passion will come across to your audience. That is the thing that will get to them coming to you because guess what? They'll be passionate about it with you. People want to buy passion from you, not just the knowledge. Now, if you tell me, I'm not passionate about anything yet, Raphael. I don't, I don't see any passion right now about something. Well, what, what are the activities that you do when you have a minute? Is it golfing? Is it crossword puzzles? Is it cake baking? Is it knitting? Is there something that you keep sneaking in minutes to do? Maybe it's reading. Maybe it's reading novels. You can create a business about novels. <laughs> Very novel idea. So any of that is possible. Where it is you spend your time. What it is you're already talking about. What it is that you're spending your time doing when you have an extra moment. And what it is that people call you for advice for. Maybe there's something you're doing, parenting, computer work, cake baking again. Uh, I keep bringing that up because it's amazing that there's a woman making tens of millions of dollars in her cake decoration business. Um, just showing people how to decorate her cakes. Right? I, I don't want to say that that's uh, an unimportant thing in life, but with that too, you can make millions of dollars. So is there something that people keep calling you about in order to get advice? I worked with one woman who didn't know what it is she was going to sell until she realized that she had been working with her son who was disabled for such a long time and everybody constantly complimented her on how well she had done it, how patient she was. And there were other people that would ask her advice on their parenting with their child with special needs. So she has created a knowledge-based business on working with your special needs child. She didn't know it was a passion of hers. She didn't know she was an expert on it. She was just doing it. So maybe there's something in your life, whether it's cooking, maybe there's something in your life, like bird watching, that you just do, you love it. Um, canoeing, hiking, there's something in your life, or maybe it's the thing you're doing at work that everybody values you for at work. Why don't we carve that out of your job and make it what it is that you give to people online? So what, what is the thing that people are already asking about? That is something that you can
the sound. If, if you still say, Rafael, I have no idea, then the next thing that you could choose is <clears throat> look at your Google history. Is there a pattern of something, some subject, even if it's a broad subject, is there a pattern somewhere of something that you look again and again and again for information on? I know people who, who are experts at supplements and they don't even realize it because they're, they're always looking to somebody else for the information they need on which supplement they should be taking. But guess what? They know enough about supplements that they could be teaching other people about what they could take for supplements for certain ailments and so on and so forth. So look at your Google history. If that's not enough, look at your bank history. If, if you show me your bank history, I'll show you what you value. If you show, I'll see what it is you're spending your money on. If, it, if you look at mine, you'll find that I spent a lot of money on food. And if you ask me why that is, it's because I value healthy food. I eat mostly vegetables. And that costs, frankly, a lot more money. And so you'd quickly find out that I could also give a course on how to eat a certain way that's healthy. Um, and I'd show you a certain way to, to cook <laughs> and so on and so forth. So look at your bank statements. Look at your Google history. If you're still not finding something, call your friends, call your colleagues, call your family and ask them, is there something, if you were to teach something, what is it they'd want to hear from you? How to do what? Just ask them. They might know it. If you're too blind to see it, which is often the case, they would say, oh my goodness, Raphael, why don't you teach about this, that, and the other thing? You're so good at that. Okay? Chances are, the reason why you don't have a business doing it yet is because you're blind to it. That's what coaching does. It helps you see, oh, not 180 degrees, but 360 degrees, the things that you're blind to. You need from other people sometimes. You need other people to point to the thing that you're not seeing. And if you haven't already figured out what it is that you are passionate about or what other people want to hear from you, it's because you're blind to it. We all are blind to many things. And have somebody else point out what it is that you have of value. For whatever reason, you don't want to see it. And they'll help you find it. All right, go ahead, click on to the next video, and I'm going to walk you piece by piece in this mini course of how to create your business online, how to be passionate, where you want to jump out of bed in the morning to share with other people what it is you have, how to do it without starting money, how to do it without an email list. I'll show you how to make money online at home. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you soon. And don't forget to subscribe down below. I'm going to fill this channel with information that'll be all you need to get your business started. And if you want to bring it to the next level, if you want it to happen faster or be more powerful when you get your business started, be sure to go to the Freedom Funding link down below.